In several exercises in this course, I will provide a 3D model to help you with your visualization of the object. I, I know that creating sectional views uh, without a, um, some kind of visual representation sometimes is very difficult, so I want to provide that for you. Um, you can find these inside the Dropboxes usually, uh, and you'll notice them by their DWF extension. A DWF extension is a file that will open in Autodesk Design Review. Uh, which is a free program uh, created by Autodesk and the directions for download can be found uh, in your syllabus if you haven't done that already and it's a free program so uh, I definitely recommend that you do that now I always use Internet Explorer to navigate Angel uh, and uh, you can use different browsers but uh, these directions that I'm about to show you are for Internet Explorer so if I want to view this DWF I highly recommend that you right click on the link instead of left clicking on it uh, right click on the link and select open in new window or open in new tab and when you do that and it may take a minute the first time you run Autodesk Design Review uh, I've already opened this file so it may be a little quicker um, you'll see the 3D model that I provided. Okay, now there's several things that you can do with this. Uh, by default, you should have a 3D orbit symbol on your crosshairs, okay? And at this point, you can just hold down the left mouse button and just kind of move the object around and you can see how I'm able to rotate it and, and view the object, okay? Um, also, um, uh, just like Inventor, uh, if you're familiar with Inventor, uh, it has a um, navigation cube. Okay, so if I want to go to the front view, I can click on front. If I want to see an isometric view, I can click on any of the corners of the cube, um, and so on and so forth. So this is a good way to navigate. Also, you have this uh, constrained orbit, okay, turntable they call it, uh, where it'll uh, rotate around an axis uh, basically, um, but probably the navigation cube is is one of the easier ways to do it now what the purpose of the 3d model is um, uh, you can visualize the object whole but this also gives you the opportunity to cut the object and to do that you can right click anywhere on the screen and select cross section and you're given different options here okay now depending on how the object needs to be cut um, is uh, will determine how uh, which option you select of course so this is um, the first exercise uh, 7.4a from the 14th edition uh, Gaseki text um, and this particular exercise shows um, uh, the object being cut along this axis here okay directly through the middle of this hole now you will notice that their arrows point up okay the, which would indicate that the section view would be below, located below the front view shown. Okay, now you'll see actually when you uh, do your first exercise that I get you to turn your arrows uh, for your cutting plane line going the other direction because I want a top view in section. Okay, um, so what we need to do is to, to, to replicate that is I want to right click, go to cross section, and you'll have to get used to. Um, uh, which one to pick, but I can see by the orientation of the, the icon here that I need the XZ plane. Okay, so if I'm doing a top view in section, I have the part left that I actually want. Okay, and I can flip over to the top view and see the object. Okay, as the top section view would look. Okay, so um, th this should greatly help you out. Now let's say that you made a mistake and, and cut it along the wrong plane. All you have to do is go over here to the left, right click, and select delete. Okay, and it'll bring back the the entire object. So let's, let's say that, and, and this isn't correct for this one, but let's just say that you wanted to do it along a different plane. Well, let, let's do it along the same plane and let's just say, decide that, oh, I, I got the wrong part. I want the, the part that went away, not the part that it kept. Um, I can right click on the triad there and select flip, okay, and it'll give me the other part instead of the part that I had. Again, um, you can just delete that if that's not what you want. Um, you can also right click on these and select transparent if you want to uh, kind of look at the object uh, in that kind of fashion for some reason. Um, you can also um, do a couple of other things. Let's um, show those to you. Let's cut along the XZ plane again. And 
it just so happens the way I created my part in Inventor that the default plane passed through the, the, the right portion of the part. But let's say that it didn't. Uh, let's say that it was too high or too low. Okay, uh, You can actually grab these triads and move this up and down. You can also, uh, if you pick the end, you can rotate the plane. Okay, So you can manipulate it that way. Uh, I have to warn you about some things. Um, about these uh, uh, sections, okay? Um, <clears throat> Autodesk Design Review doesn't know all the rules, okay? So one of the the rules is usually you don't section shafts, for example, okay? So let's say that you have a shaft in an assembly, and I, I give you a 3D model for that. May not, but l let's just say th that when in, um, Autodesk Design Review cuts that part, it will cut it just like any other part. It it will section a shaft. It doesn't know the difference. Okay. Uh, also, uh, later on, you'll you'll learn um, like an offset section view. Okay, which is basically a, a combination of two or more uh, sectional views. Okay, and uh, you're not able to create an offset section view here. Uh, this is just a tool to kind of help you see the inside of the part, and there are you know, different ways to manipulate it. So uh, don't assume just because you cut the part in Autodesk Design Review that that is what you need to show in your sectional view. Uh, it's just so you can see the inside of the part. You as the drafter need to know the rules for sectioning that are found inside your text. Okay, and I hope this helps you out, and that concludes this video.